<laughs> like I said, it's my good friend Hancho here. In combat convenience. Yeah. Like to lube him up. Who is your daddy? No deal. Ah, oh. no, ah. Who is your daddy? Yeah. No, ah. Stop it! Ah, oh. no, ah. Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! Ah, oh. Smashing. Hello everybody, it's your old pal Slow Smashing with another fantastic tale of Smashing or Bashing. The slow motion. And then this tale, Hancho, Axio, Hancho Nachos. Like Hancho, Axio Nachos. Yeah! Hancho, Crawler, Axio, awesome! Let's go ahead and smash this guy open, see what's inside, and have some fun with it. So let's smash and slash this thing open. All right, all right, here's everything outside the box. The honcho, instruction books, uh, controller and parts, we'll go through them. And we got bubble wrap. Y'all know this is fun. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the actual cover in box out here, but this little box that comes with the car, it's getting smashed. Yeah, <laughs> this is my friend Hancho, he's very cool. Tell me you like him in the comments. No! Like I said, it's my good friend Hancho here. He's very cool. All right, here it is outside the box. The Hancho, the main event, Axio Hancho, yeah! Uh, I had this one for a long time, I'm ashamed to say. I'm just now getting to it, but least but not least. Okay, I don't know what I meant by that, but you, de you get the picture. Definitely last but not least. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this hood open right here. Look at this, look at these cool little tabs right here. I dig that over like these other ones without tabs on there. This is truly a bonus right here. I'm happy about it. Simple things make me happy sometimes. Let's go ahead and pop those open so we can look under the hood right there. Uh, and then we'll take, actually we'll pop this out and check a look at the hood right there. Look at the hood. Look at the hood. It's so awesome. I love this body. This is what like rolled me into this honcho crawler. I know like all the SCX10s are like pretty much the same, but the bodies aren't. The bodies aren't the same. And look at this. This is cool for like action figures and like you can see Arnold on there and everything. It's like Arnold is on there and other cool figures. Uh, I guess a little lockbox right there in this cage. I just love the look of it and just the versatility of using it. You can have so much fun with this, at least in my book with figures in RC. All right, so let's take a look at the body here real quick. Um, first thing I want to point out, look at the tire right there, the Falcons, you know, Wild Peaks. These are actually licensed versions of them. I'm going to talk about what I do know. I actually have this on my truck, the Nissan Titan when I first got it. These tires are awesome. They're good general, like, off-road tires. I mean, you're not going to go on a Rubicon crazy or anything, but for just all-around off-road tires, they're awesome and street use, too. It's like I could zip down a quarter mile with those things still and go, like, on a dirt road. <laughs> Look under, under the hood here at the quick mechanics. This thing's got the big old differential right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I got like spur gear up in there. I've uh, got a brush, 35 turn motor. Uh, I'm not going to go into it. You guys know this. It's already on the instruction book in the box already. Let's just look what like wows me right here, right? The battery tray right here is like Velcro. Uh, you always got like Velcro because you can just strap it on easy. You got some uh, versatility there with the packs you could use. And look at this lights. Got lights. Two lights right there. I know some people put like light bars on the whole thing and lights everywhere like a Christmas tree, but no, I'm just happy with two lights right there. I'm not gonna go out there like I'm pitch black dark. I gotta have like another flashlight or something. Oh, besides the brush at the, the front of the bump right here. This is like a brushed aluminum. It's like metal. It's metal even. I love that look. I love the look and the feel and the fact that it's actually metal. And of course the ladder frame chassis right there, metal. Love that. It reminds you of a full size like truck. Uh, let's see what else can we look at here. The electronics right there, the ESC, and yeah, nothing special. Got this green Christmas tree tag right there, still on there. Just warns you about the light bulb. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the shocks right there. Look at that. 
Because, like, fake, like, I'm pretty sure those aren't functional, but they, they, they look cool. It's like this overflow for your, like, oil shocks. I doubt they're, like, functional. Um, let's go back to suspension here. Suspension feels really light and fluffy. I'm not sure that's going to be good for crawling over things. It's not stiff or anything. But look at that. It feels good. Uh, let's look at the axles here. Axial, axial, axles. I just like that red diff cover right there. Nice red paint right there. And, uh, you know, all the plastic on there feels really good. Just, like, soft and everything, you know? Like, it'll just bend and it won't break. Hopefully that's the case. But, you know, actually has good crawlers. Look at that hair. Here's a little front look of it. Look at that massive bumper again, though. And then the front, like, axles right there. Soft. Look at this. The plastic right here. It's just, it's really soft. Unless you're out in the cold or something. I don't think it'll have an issue or anything. It just feels really good. I'm excited about this thing. You know what? I'm just bringing back to joy, just driving things stock right now. Like, who's to say I'll probably mod it later, but stock is fun, at least nowadays. All right, so we got the hot show all buttoned up right here, back with this cover on and everything. Let's go through some of the other things that came within the box. Like this, you know, we'll get to that later. Let's go through the bag right here. We got a bag full of extra parts right here, links and like green things. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't know what that green thing is. If you know what that green thing is, let me know down there. I don't want to have to look it up on the internet. Should already know. Anyways, uh, there's other things in there, like a tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the instruction book. Never read the instructions. <laughs> so let's get to this like short, like pistol grip shotgun looking radio controller right here. All right, so let's take a closer look real quick at the pistol grip shotgun right here. The Tactic uh, TTX 200. I still like the 300 better. Anyways, it takes like uh, four double A's right there. You just open it up for a dirt. It just opens up, but it won't. It's open. Ooh, damn, sharp plastic. Anyways, it goes in there. I mean, I'm sure you can figure that out without them watching this video. But anyway, there we got throttle trim, we got steering trim, and we got a power button right there. I mean, other than that, I mean, there's a sticker right there. It says steering, Chris hold, steering trim. You can read it right there. It's just forward, backwards, and left and right. Anything you could possibly want to have a controller. In combat convenience. Yeah. All right, so this is the one that the honcho comes with. This reminds me of like, if we were talking like metaphorically speaking here, like of shotguns, this would be like a pistol grip shotgun. And then I got the TX, uh, with the 300 right here, TTX 300. And this would be like a, with the one with the stock on, like a my Mossberg 590 or something with the full stock and the full mag tube and everything. Look at this, it's got like a good base, it's hardy and everything, it's like good. And then this one, yeah, it's, it's, it's compact. That's what it got going for it. Otherwise, I mean, it looks functionality. It looks probably about the same. It's just like shaved down version, pistol grip version. Just you know, light. You can wield it all over the place. Eh, I'd rather have this one though. But I mean, I'll use this one. It's gonna make it hard for mounting cameras and stuff. But I'm sure it'll work. All right, cool tip on something I just like to do with my bad AA batteries here is I like to lube them up. <laughs> But all serious in this though, it just keeps it from that corrosive crud getting on there when you just leave them on the shelf for a long time. Alright, let's go take this thing on a smashing adventure. Enough talk here. Oh wait! Arnold! Arnold has to get on in here. Look at that, there he goes. Arnold is right here. Yes! Alright, so now, let's do it! Who is your daddy? No deal. Yeah. Stop it!
Yeah, who is your daddy? Yeah. Stop it! No deal. Welcome back here. Hope you all enjoyed that tale right there. I love this thing. It was so much fun. That Arnold had fun right here. Y'all let me know what you think about it down there in the comments. Until next tale, smash the bell, smash the thumb, subscribe if you had to already. Because we smashing out. See you later. Hasta la vista. Yeah.